So, are you the type who'd rather stay home, curl up on the couch, and watch a movie instead of going out with friends? Yeah. Well, you're probably missing out on some opportunities to change your life. We can be a little bit of a shut-in, right? Well, Health Magazine <laughs> featured a story on this topic. In fact, you can log on to our website right now, today.com, and follow along with a quiz that we all took earlier. And Camille Chatterjee is the deputy editor of Health, and Valerie Burton is the author of Happy Women Live Better, 13 Ways to Trigger Your Happiness Every Day. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's go through a couple questions from the quiz. I think uh, very telling. I, th uh, I think. Absolutely. First question was, how do you, how often do you find yourself doing something spontaneous, whether it's calling a friend you haven't spoken to in years or making last minute plans for a weekend getaway? And I think you and I, well, uh, similar, I mean, I was, I answer the question once or twice a month, I'm spontaneous because I have kids in sports right. and I think routine is kind of very set in. It's hard to do that. I, it, I went once or twice a week. We were just talking about why. My kids yeah. are so little still that we can up and go do things. They don't have I miss scheduled. Them. <laughs> Weekend. But let's, I want to get your reaction to the numbers because we did ask this up on our website. Uh, never was 38%. How often do you find yourself doing something wow. spontaneous? Never. 38%. 49% were with Natalie like once me. or twice Yay. a week. 10% once or twice a week. And everything I do is spur of the moment was 3%. Right. Camille, what do you make of those numbers? Well, I don't think they're surprising. As you yeah. mentioned, Natalie, the older we get, the more we accumulate in our lives, the more responsibilities we have. It's hard to just jet Break out to away. a bar at 2 right. in the morning or go on a <laughs> yeah, spa getaway. Wait, I'm not I'm supposed to do that anymore. Well, people. <laughs> that said, if you realize, you know, you're home and instead of feeling serene and content, you're feeling a little FOMO, a little fear yeah. of missing out. If you're feeling like something's missing, maybe that means that you should look for a little bit more spontaneity. Valerie, that's life. really important. I mean, yeah. it, it is important to introduce new things, new people, new friends, as we're going to talk about them with the next it poll is. result as well, right? Yeah, doing new things is actually good for your brain. It makes you happier. So, you know, it's it's good to have routine. That's good, too. But yeah. it's very important to say, you know what, what, what have I always wanted to do? What have I wanted to learn? And what am I waiting for? Those are the questions you could ask yourself and just kind of jolt yourself out and kind of shake things up a bit. That's hard, though. I mean, as you can see from those numbers, it's easier yeah. to pull the blanket up and put the movie on. Yeah, but 38% that never does anything yeah. spontaneous, right, right. just try it once. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, speaking yeah. of new things, making new friends. And the question was, when you make a new friend, what does that feel like? And it, the responses are, I don't ever form new relationships. Any new friend is usually a very casual friend. I have trouble sharing private things about myself. I am slow to trust, but eventually I do. Or I jump right in and open up completely. And, and let's see how our poll results break down. Yeah. I will say that I answered that new friends are casual because I usually have trouble sharing private things I think I said myself. slow to trust but eventually do which was the majority oh, yeah. here from right. the 47 percent yes. I think that's a great yeah. answer I agree <laughs> I agree and I mean it's similar to being spontaneous it does get harder to make new friends as you know we're not in school anymore yeah. we're busy with different parts of our life but that said it stays important friendship is good for your health and the more you are juggling work home mm -hmm. stress yeah. the more you need people to vent to and support you in times of trouble but the yeah. trust and thing is important too Valerie it's right you want to let people in your life that you know you can really Here's the thing, happiness is contagious. Yeah. And so if you have a lot of unhappy people around you, it's going to affect you. But if you have happy people around you, it impacts you as well. And we have to think about so many people today live alone. I mean, mm -hmm. more, more Americans than ever before. And people yeah. are so mobile. So a lot of people over 30, over 40 are having to make new friends. So being willing to reach out, being willing to kind of put yourself out there is more important than ever, especially if you're yeah. moving to a new city or a new, right. a new place in your life. All right, ladies, out of time on this ladies, one. Thank so you so much. Be back in a moment. This is today on NBC.